In this video, we're going to create our put HTTP endpoint to update a single to do item. So we're going to create an update function. It has a handler of to do's update update. And we're attaching an HTTP endpoint. The path is similar to get with an ID as path parameter. The method is put and we enable course. That's all the configuration we need. Let's create our file to do's update.js. The code is similar as before. We start out with the literal expression use strict, then import the AWS SDK and define a DynamoDB client. Further, we create the update function, which is exported, and it accepts three arguments, event, context, and callback. To update a function, we're going to use dynamodb.put. It again takes two arguments, the first one the parameters and the second one is a callback. The parameters is an object containing the table name of to-dos and an item where we have to provide the ID, but also have to provide all the attributes we actually want to update. In this case, this is going to be the text, which we're going to retrieve from the data that actually is coming through the event. This is going to be checked, which is also coming from the event, and then updated at, which is the timestamp that we generate. And therefore, we're going to use new date dot get time, and this provides us with the current timestamp. The data we have to actually pass with JSON from the event dot body. Similar as if in the create function, we want to do some sort of validation. In this case, we're actually going to check for if the text is a string and check this is a boolean. If there's an error, we're going to lock the validation error and invoke the callback with a new error instance, informing the user that something went wrong. Same goes for a failed put operation. If an error occurred, we want to lock it out and we're going to invoke the callback with a new error instance to inform the user. In case of a successful put operation, we're going to construct the response and invoke the callback with the response as a second argument. So far, so good. Let's deploy our service. Let's test if our update function works as expected. Let's leverage our get HTTP endpoint to create the previously created to do item and review its properties. As you can see, checked is set to false. Then we invoke a put request using curl again and provide the data as a JSON with the text. It's going to be the same learn serverless, but we're going to change checked, which we set to true. Now the moment of truth. Let's refetch our item and see if checked actually changed. Amazing. Our update function worked as expected. 